Hey there everybody, it's me, Bexy Wolf, and I just wanted to stop in and basically just have a good chat with you guys about what exactly it is I'm doing here. So I know Halloween is just around the corner since it is October, and I just thought it'd be kind of cool to draw something that's a little bit in the Halloween spirit. I don't know, and I'm, I'm a Halloween girl, I like dressing up, I, you guys should know this considering I have a fursuit. Anyway, I thought it would be kind of cool to come up with a character that was just really cute and unique. Um, I did her in a chibi style, but since she's also an animal, I got two things that are basically my jam. Um, right here, basically, <laughs> I'm just sketching her up, trying to come up with something. As I'm going through, I started working on her lines and like just really like making the clean final lines. I always start with the face for some reason. Might not necessarily be the eyes, but I always start with the face because your head is kind of like, I don't know, it's where everything comes from. So it makes a, it makes sense to me that that would be your starting point because you can adjust most things based off of that and go back and forth. Now, the coolest thing about this particular character is that I actually wanted her to have this unique feature, which was this giant braid swinging across her face. So I watch a lot of anime and obviously play, uh, play some video games too. I have never seen this particular hairdo on any kind of character before, so I thought it would be kind of a cool, unique twist um, to that simply just because like there's always some unique feature about them because m usual anime tropes they've all got like the same face but maybe they've got like different hair color different eye colors or various styles or the style of their bangs is what differentiates them and nope nope my little cat character is she's straight up big old braid um every time i color i always actually start off with like this really neat red and the whole reason I do that is entirely just because you can see it if for whatever reason you actually go outside the lines. Now that's really helpful just because, you know, you do this for long enough and you just, everything kind of starts to blur together. So um, it really helps just to kind of lay everything out and then I stick it on an alpha layer and then I color away and do clipping masks. So with this character, since it is Halloween, I'm going with a cute little black cat and starting off with the shading on her base skin tone first. Now this is, I don't always do it this way, Oftentimes I'll just do flat colors first and then add the shadows at the very end after I've figured out all the colors. This time around I didn't want to, I wanted to go with this more, I guess you could call it a painterly look in comparison to some of my other pictures. Um, love doing those little cheeks on them. Uh, I actually do that because I myself have a very, very rosy cheeks, and it's just kind of like a fun little feature that I throw in there, and a little bit of me in there. It makes me feel pretty good. So whenever I do the hair, you probably notice this. I always start, like, with a darker color, and then I always lighten it. And I tend to do this with a lot of things. I start with a darker color and I blend it up. And that's because my lights tend to catch on details a lot more. So it's really, really easy to start with the big chunky bits and then whittle it down to the details. And lighting works the exact same way. So you'll see me do that in the hair and on the clothes. And even like you saw it on her face, I started with the color and the shading and went to the highlighting and then freckles on the blush on her cheeks. Um, Another big thing I do, I'll throw on like a layer with that has this like random block of colors that's like that should go there, and I throw a um, a really like an overlay on it or something like color burn uh, filter on that layer and add it to what's underneath. Just play with the settings and it always comes up really really nice. sweater. So I love oversized sweaters, even though I personally don't wear them as much as I wish I, I did. 
I just don't own any that I think would very flattering on me. So what I do, I draw them on my characters all the time, which I should probably find something else to put on them, but this 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 is something I like. It's just a little bit here and there and I don't know, really really sets the Halloween vibe. So a little bit of blush on her knees. And working on those knee highlights and I don't I don't know if I ended up sticking with that. I don't think I did. Um simply just because I, I don't think I could make it look right. And then heck, I love her little Mary Janes, but something about them would just after I started like coloring the stockings and trying to color the shoes, the just the 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 color of the lines that I had going on just it just made it like too bright and too complicated for the look I was going for, and it just, I couldn't get it to look right. So I switched back and forth between my ears and tail and stuff, and, um, and even like the shoes, and I think I ended up going back and erasing the Mary Jane later, but uh, changing the outline. I, I love coloring lines on my character's clothes. I think it breathes like a little bit of life into them, um, especially if you can do it really, really well. And so, oh, there I go, there I go, taking off the, uh, the shoes and the outer lines, outer layers. And I'll clean up the lines there, and I just, I, I don't necessarily leave it as is, I actually go in and I turn them into this really, really cute, simple pair of, like, thigh-high, not thigh-high, like, like, uh, knee-high boots that I ended up putting this cute stitching along the sides. I almost forgot her little uh, undershirt there. And the next big thing I did was actually work on the overall highlights. And this is probably currently my favorite style, just like a simple outer highlight. But uh, with this particular character, I have no idea what it was. I could not for the life of me find a color that just interacted well with everything we had going on. Something that looked natural with her sweater and something that looked right with her skin tone. And I just, I couldn't get it. So I think I ended up just like settling for blue of some kind. But, oh and then on her ears, I was actually struggling because I really liked the more natural pink look, but the original orange I think is what I ended up going with at the end. It, uh, it was, it was just kind of fun playing back and forth. Since I was going for a Halloween theme hat, the orange seemed to make a little bit more sense to me this time around. And then next I started going into the background. So I generally tend to like to keep my backgrounds really simple because I like my characters to be like the main focus. Plus I, I'm kind of meh about backgrounds. I don't dislike them and just kind of feel weird. But the background I wanted to be kind of scribbly and sort of grungy looking since the character is so clean. I thought I would add a really cool little contrast to it. So I started with the base lead shoe sitting on and then I tried going in and like making this brick wall. And the bricks just like looked too small and weird and elongated. And it just looked too much work. So I went back and I did like the main horizontal lines first, moved them around, and then added the lines in between. And, and I thought that looked much, much better. So, but I didn't just leave it as the white, as cool as that looked. I actually went ahead and did this, did a, a 3D effect on there. That's something I picked up how to do uh, while I was still in school. And most people will use like filters and other things for that, like, to like specifically 3D effects. Whereas I tend to just go and change the actual color of the background and I will go have one layer be all red, no green or blue. If And then the other layer I'll have the red all the way down to zero and the green and the blue all the way up to 255. Anyway, so with this 3D effect that I'm trying to add in here at the very end, I just thought that would be a really cool final touch to the photo. Uh, that being said, that's everything I've got for you. I hope you guys like it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!